Between all the things we research, all the history we have lived through, and all the places that we can travel to, there are countless discoveries being worked on each day across a number of fields, subjects, and niches. From mysteries that have loomed for decades to revelations about our planet, there are so many discoveries that could be of interest. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries you may not have heard about. Earth's vital signs are now code red. It's no secret that the planet has been suffering. We all know that the climate crisis is becoming a topic of increasing concern. Whether you think this is an issue each individual needs to work to fix, or think the responsibility should lie with industries first and foremost, we are all certainly aware that the planet is in danger. In October 2022, a report has come forth from a team of international scientists issuing a harrowing look at where we are regarding this environmental catastrophe. There are 35 so-called vital signs that are used to take measurements and track the climate change the planet is undergoing. This report told us that 16 of these 35 have been rated as code red, introducing new extremes. Simply put, this is the worst that we have ever seen on the planet. The word climate crisis once seemed fairly abstract, a scary concept that we knew of but had little impact upon us. Though that no longer seems to be the case. Each year, we see more and more climate disasters, and without taking action, these will continue to increase with each passing year. 2022 has already seen greater waves of extreme heat than many other years, being on track to become one of the hottest years that we have on record. We have seen wildfires, a huge amount of tree loss, the worst drought that Europe has seen in five centuries, a heat wave that reached dangerous temperatures to lives in India and Pakistan, dust storms throughout the Middle East, and so many other events that have ruined lives, landscapes, and homes. Christopher Wolfe, an ecologist with Oregon State University, pled to other researchers saying, we implore our fellow scientists to join us in advocating for research-based approaches to climate and environmental decision-making. Salim ul -Huk, a sustainability scientist from the independent university Bangladesh, explained that climate change is not an issue to be looked at in isolation, saying, It is part of a much larger systematic problem of ecological overshoot where human demand is exceeding the regenerative capacity of the biosphere. Some have predicted that by the year 2100, we will see a further temperature rise by 3 degrees Celsius, meaning that the planet will be the hottest that it has been in approximately 3 million years. Mystery of strange sonar blip heard near Titanic wreckage is finally solved. We all know of the tragedy of the Titanic, the famous unsinkable ship that sunk. Throughout the years, historians and researchers alike have been down to the shipwreck, diving and exploring. Paul Henry Nagiole has seen the Titanic shipwreck 30 times, one of which has become particularly noteworthy. In 1998, Nagiole recorded what has been dubbed a sonar blip, close by to the wreckage of the Titanic. It has been decades, and we remained clueless as to what this strange blip was, and so it remained unidentified, a mystery. There were plenty of possibilities as to what might have been behind this blip, Many theorized that it could have been another shipwreck or even some sort of geological feature. Decades later, we finally have the answer. It was a 2022 trip to the shipwreck that Nagiole and his research team at last uncovered the origin of this blip. The team found a deep-sea reef filled with marine life. This was a volcanic formation, and it has been found to be home to plenty of different sea life. This news is so fresh that we don't know exactly what it is that has been discovered, with plenty of images, videos, and general footage to search through, this discovery is far from complete. During their dive, the researchers spotted sponges, corals, different fish and lobsters, amongst other creatures. The basalt ridge, where all this wonderful sea life was found, has been named the Nagiole Fanning Ridge, for the time being. Named after Nagiole, and Oshin Fanning, who was the mission specialist during this expedition. Researchers hope to be able to observe how the different organisms interact, are distributed, and what kinds of creatures can thrive in this sort of space. 
By looking at this and then forming comparisons to other underwater ecosystems, we should be able to learn a lot more about deep sea environments. It's important to research these ecosystems now, not solely out of interest, but also in the sense of preservation, as we know the climate crisis can have a negative impact upon these systems. Hidden Oasis of Life Discovered Under the Maldives Lots of research out there has focused on looking for life in new places, though a good deal of that research and what we might generally think of involves scouring the skies, searching for alien life on distant planets. What we don't realize is that there is plenty of life tucked away in the corners of our planet, hiding away in unexpected places, and that this search for life could start much closer to home. In October 2022, a team of what has been dubbed Aquanauts found an oasis for deep ocean life in the water desert of the Maldives. This submarine mission unveiled a new ecosystem, thriving and, up until recently, had not been documented, nor had many similar. This ecosystem, nicknamed the Trapping Zone, was found by a deep water seamount. It reaches 500 meters in depth and is where some of the large fish gather and eat microscopic nectin, a tiny organism that can be likened to zooplankton. Microscopic nectin swim between the surface of the ocean and the waters about one kilometer deeper, creating what is essentially a wave of migration when the larger fish follow their movements to eat. This research, the Nectin Maldives mission, is the first time we have mapped this area. Now we have a systematic map of the deep waters found in the Maldives and through to the southwest of Sri Lanka and India. The international research team found the ecosystem by Satharaha Deep Sea Mountain, and they were led right to it thanks to the movement of the Micronectin. Micronectin swim downwards but by the sunken seamount, where there are several volcanic ridges and fossilized reefs that have sat there for tens of millions of years, around the point where the Micronectin seemingly stop heading downwards. Instead of their usual depths, they are trapped at about 500 meters, leaving them exposed for predators who live in the trapping zone. These can be schools of tuna, sharks, or deep water fish, all of which are known to hang around in this dangerous spot. The research team made use of the Omega Seamaster 2, a submarine that looks like a glass bubble. This allowed them to watch firsthand as they saw this ecosystem in action. Finding this ecosystem is thrilling, but the most exciting part was the diversity within it. During their search, the team managed to spy a great deal of different species, even those that were relatively rare to see. Lucy Woodall, a marine scientist from the University of Oxford, explained that this discovery could be highly beneficial to scientists, letting us all understand what goes on in the deep ocean that little bit more. She said, why is this occurring? Why is there something that specific at 500 meters? Does this life go even deeper? What is this transition? What is there? And why? Having seen this ecosystem in the Maldives, we can assume that other ocean islands with similar underwater structures to them could also be homes to ecosystems not dissimilar to that seen within the trapping zone. Some have suggested that the seamounts and submerged volcanoes are areas with such high diversity within them, are such hotspots and thriving centers because of how they affect the micronectin, bringing a high supply of food. Something that has been a great cause for concern to researchers is the way the micronectin can survive with the climate crisis. Recent climate reports suggest they aren't thriving quite so well. Without the micronectin, we are likely to lose the fish, birds and mammals that eat them. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.